guys. 5.30 came way too soon this morning. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired and my body is feeling everything that I did yesterday. If you recall from yesterday's vlog, I did two workouts yesterday. I did the workout that knocks me out pretty hard from 21 Day Fix and then I actually did a little cardio workout from the Morning Meltdown 100 which Beachbody On Demand people now finally have access to. So I did a little bit of that. I worked out for 45 minutes. I'm feeling it today because then I also spent hours, literally hours, in the kitchen yesterday meal prepping various things. And I woke up this morning, my ankle was screaming at me a little bit. Thankfully it went away. I don't know what what that ankle problem is, but thankfully it started to go away, but I'm very aware that it is possible that it will flare up today, but that's okay. Today is the first day, official day, of last 90 days. It is October 1st, and I am so excited, and I'm more excited about the fact that I am still excited even though I'm so tired and my body is so beat because it means that I am inspired and motivated to not give up. It's day one. We have to start strong. So. The action plan for the day is as follows. Today's actually work day for me. It is official filming day. I have to do everything within my willpower to not touch house tasks today, which is really hard for me because I'm a homemaker. I'm a housewife first. And when I see stuff around the house that needs to get done, I know there's still sheets in the dryer that need to get folded. There's some things that need to be decluttered. I need to decorate for fall. I have a lot of stuff that I need to do and I have to make sure that I resist the urge to do those things because today is Diva and the Divine Day. It is filming day, it is work day, and so today is the day in the life of a YouTuber because this YouTuber is getting her craft together and getting content cranked out for you for Vlogtober. I wanted to introduce you to my Erin Condren wall organization system. How cool is this thing? I ordered this with my own store credit, so I technically didn't pay for it, but I got credit because of all of you purchasing Erin Condren stuff underneath my code, which is awesome, so thank you for that. But this thing is a metal, metal, dry, wet erase board, and this was all customizable. This particular one, so this one is their habit tracker, so this part is not customizable. You get the Monday through Sunday thing, but you get to customize this and you get to customize this. So how how cool is that? I picked purple, I have my morning routine, my home tasks, diva and the divine and personal tasks, and then I can fill these out as I see fit, and then I can track them every single week. And it is always visible from my desk so I can keep in mind my important habits for the day so I get them all done. I still haven't figured out exactly what all I wanna track, but for week one, I've got plenty of awesome things down including my workout, my five to thrive, all that jazz. All right, I'll be totally honest. I do not want to move. I do not want to do my workout today because my body is so sore and so tired from yesterday, but I'm going to do it anyway because the five to thrive last 90 days move 30 minutes. And because it's rainy outside today, like it's supposed to rain on and off all day, I have no solid guarantee of I can go for a 30 minute walk during this X block of time. I might still do something like that in the middle of my filming day if it's not too wet outside so I don't wreck my makeup and whatnot, but I have to do something. So I'm going to do some country heat. I'm not going to the gym today because I will be going to the gym tomorrow for my double headers. So I have to strike the balance of I still need to move. I still need to work out and get my 30 minutes, get my heart rate up and all that jazz. But I don't want to work so hard that I cannot bring my best self to my double header two hour workout tomorrow. There is a balance. I'm determined to find it. Oh my goodness. Half of the battle of filming day, I swear to you, is getting everything, including this ready to go. I blow dried my hair for like the first time in two weeks. I don't even know. My goodness. But Mother Nature is not freaking cooperating with me today. And what I mean by that is this. It's rainy, it's gross, and thus I am not getting any nice natural sunlight coming in through that window right over there. It might look like I am, but that's why I have a nice fancy vlogging camera that lets me adjust the ISO. I do have a white light lamp on over there, but you want to know one of the things I just realized? I still don't know where they are. My light bulbs for the rest of my lighting equipment. I found the stands, I found everything I needed, but I don't know where the light bulbs are. So I have that guy, which is who I use every time, but we're gonna be messing around with the lighting a little bit today. <sighs> I just wanna film. 
I told, I'm telling you, half the battle is setting things up. Another battle that is very, very real right now is my energy level. Oh my word, I'm trying so hard to keep the energy up. As long as I keep moving, as long as I keep going, the energy level should stay up. But the second that I let it drop, we're gonna be in big trouble. So the goal is to not let the energy level drop. I do already intend on having a lovely cup of pumpkin spice coffee in a couple of hours to help give me that afternoon pick-me-up because I will probably hit the afternoon slump real hard. And that's okay, that's part of life, no problem. I did work out this morning. I don't know if I told you guys that I did that, but I did the first official workout for the Morning Meltdown 100 on the Beachbody app. It was a lot of fun, it was not difficult, or it, like it was it was simple the workout was simple but it was as hard as you wanted it to be you had to put that effort in and what was nice was I even modified some of the modifications to adjust to what my body is feeling today so I did the work but I did not kill myself because I need to make sure that I keep some reserves for healing today and for working out hard tomorrow so now Workout's done, food is done, I ate breakfast, but breakfast was on repeat so it wasn't anything exciting and worth showing you, and now I gotta film. Let's go. Okay, so the meal planning thing, been going really well. Having the plan, got the stuff prepped, all that jazz, I just had chili for, di for lunch, for lunch, it's only lunchtime, and the plus side is I only had a cup of chili instead of the cup and a half I had originally planned for. All good, all good. The not so good thing, I intended on having one of those pumpkin muffin things and I ate three. Guys, guys, this is my confession, it's here. And now I'm really full and uncomfortably full and you would think that you would learn that, oh, that doesn't feel so good. Don't eat the three. And like, they're not, okay, so if they didn't have the chocolate chip things in them, they'd actually, it would actually have only been six points, so it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. Um, but it's probably closer, like, I don't know what the, the chocolate chips stack up as, but technically those were four points a piece, and that means 12 points. Now, I still have that many points. It's, it, it's currently still in plan. That's minus dinner. I already had dinner tracked, so we'll see how this day goes. But this is just to show you that me, the person who's been getting messages all day from you saying I love your energy and your motivation and this and that, I might be motivated, but I'm still human just so you know. Um, so I have to figure out now the, I, and I thought about it and I figured out what, what one of the answers is. Remember how from the five to thrive, I was originally planning on giving up my afternoon sweet treat. That might have to stick unless it's like a built bar. That might be the new thing too. So, so look at this. Here's, here's what you do when you're working towards your new habits and your new goals and everything, you have a plan, but you have to be willing to adjust and to think about things and change things around and overcome when you hit speed bumps. Does me doing this mean that I'm gonna trash my entire day? Absolutely not, my friends, absolutely not. I'm still going, I have a fresh pot of pumpkin spice coffee to help get me through the afternoon, and I'm, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling fine. This is a mistake, it happens, you moved on. But what I'm doing now is I add, like when I finished doing it, I was like, this was stupid, I didn't need to do that. If you don't eat them three at a time, they last a lot longer and you can enjoy them for longer. So in addition to the whole giving up the instant gratification food while I'm out thing, I am reinstituting the afternoon dessert thing. So unless it's a built bar or a protein bar of some kind, no dessert for me in the afternoon because the afternoons is when it's a problem. The evenings are not a problem for me, which is weird because that's when I'm the most tired, but it's the afternoons that are the problem. So you learn, you make changes, you overcome. What? What? Is the rain bothering you? What's the matter with you? Huh? Why are you bothering me? You're a goober. Really though? <laughs> really? Are you scared? You wanna come up here? Oh my. Oh my. Oh, something must have scared you. You never hop on my lap in the office. What's the matter? Are we struggling? Are we struggling? Oh, look at how sad you are. Oh, you need a haircut. Oh, <laughs> don't touch the lens. Look at your hair. You're out of control. Hi. Mm, are you scared of the rain? 
Are you scared of the rain, baby girl? Oh, you're okay, sweetheart. Look at that face. Oh, look at that face. She's so cute. She's so cute. Even though she needs a haircut. She's so cute. Can we talk about what's happening here for a minute? This is Gracie laying on my lap at my desk. This literally never happens. Never happens. Are you afraid of the rain, boo-boo? Oh, I like it. Here's Vlogception for you. I'm about to start editing this vlog that you're watching right now. Right, Gracie? Oh, you're so cute. When you know that this is a bad idea, but you also know that you have to run a live stream in two hours and you are completely and utterly exhausted. Cheers. Okay, seriously though, it is 5.30 and I am so beat. Not hungry, thanks to those silly pumpkin muffins. I'm not hungry at all. The lighting in here is terrible. I apologize. I'm up in the loft, if you haven't figured that out. I don't know what made me want to come up to the loft. Oh yes, I do. My camera and my phone were all upstairs. And I wanted to sit on the couch and watch some TV for a little bit. Just, you know, or maybe close my eyes. And this couch is actually very comfortable. We found this couch at Ikea on, like, their as-is section for $400. And it's, like, an $1,100 couch. Brand new. Just out of style. And <laughs> it's great. We love it. Um, but this is Eric's little man cave area. This is where he plays video games and does all that stuff. But he ain't here during the day. Netflix is set up up here, too. So... Gracie and I, hi BB, what a good girl, are going to have just 15, 20 minutes, one episode of Friends, to just relax and kind of shake off the work, the work day, and, but knowing it's not over, you know what I mean? Because it's not, I still have to work until 8.30 because I'm coming for you guys, and I want to make sure that I'm bringing my best self, so kind of taking a break is a really really good choice make sure you're taking breaks I actually read that in the book I was reading this morning which is high performance habits by Brendan Burchard and um, what he was saying is it's really a great idea to help with your focus and your productivity if you step away from everything you're doing every 45 minutes to an hour like set an alarm and legitimately stand up from your desk and walk away don't use it to just sit there and poke at your phone but physically do something different and get away from a screen even if it's just for two or three minutes just do something different so i have left my office i'm sipping on a little bit of coffee i'm chilling here i'm probably going to actually get on the floor and stretch a little bit because my muscles are feeling real tight and then we'll go from there. Hopefully it'll re-energize me enough to not mess up my sleep, but to keep me ready to show up for you guys tonight. Just on the off chance you guys think I have some super professional setup happening for live stream, I don't. This is literally what I see. This is from my perspective. We have this box that I'm pretty sure I got when I was working on Weight Watchers, or working for Weight Watchers and was doing at work meetings to carry stuff in. My computer, my ring light, my other light, doggo hello doggo stuff strewn on the floor still because that's just how it is those boxes were in fact moved like I promised to over there real life my friends real life not glamorous at all listen crazy you're just the star of this vlog today aren't you aren't you <laughs> this is her favorite game I don't know why but it is weirdo don't eat my feet. Only on my live stream could we end up talking for 10 plus minutes about Harry Potter. And I am here for it. My friend's live stream was awesome. I've been going over an hour because you guys just keep on chatting. And it's just because my community is so stinking wonderful. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you that show up for me on a consistent basis. It's absolutely wonderful and it truly warms my heart. But now... I've been talking for well over an hour, and I filmed three videos today, and I've been vlogging. My voice is tired, so I'm gonna sign off here. So thank you for taking the time to tune in. Happy last 90 days, my friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the Deep in the Divine community, and I'll see you tomorrow.